Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So things are hotting up with the uh, Georgia indictments um, coming around the bend. And all this, this also this uh, idea, the 14th, 14th Amendment, where um, the um, secretaries of state can decide if they're going to allow a candidate on the ballot. And so the idea is that there may be Democratic states, because it's a Republican-Democratic battle now, I guess, there may be Democratic states that say, yeah, we're not going to put Trump on the ballot, in which case Republicans would sue and take that to all the way up to the Supreme Court to get their uh, candidate, Trump, on the ballot. Or there may be uh, Republican states who put him on the ballot, and then there are Democrats who sue to say, no, we want him off of the ballot. So we can see how that goes. So this, we've got the Arizona Democratic governor, uh, Katie Hobbs, uh, that would be involved with that, I suppose. The Georgia governor, uh, Kemp, where they're trying to get him to uh, take uh, Fonnie Willis out, uh, the district attorney. And uh, then the, also we have the issue of the speedy trial. So we got two folks, Chesbro and Sidney Powell, who said, yeah, I want a speedy trial. Trump has said, I don't want a speedy trial. And um, Fonnie Willis is saying, let's do it. At the same time, she's saying, but I really don't want these cases separated. I want them all to go together. So we'll draw some cards on that. That's a lot of subject. And uh, we'll see how that goes. So yeah, that's a lot, a lot to go over. And I've got a note to the side here to keep me refreshed as far as what we're talking about because I do have a tendency to lose my place if I don't have a note. And um, so let's look into those three uh, issues uh, and anything else that comes along, but I think we'll probably limit it to those three. And we'll do a quick um, pull on two of those and then a longer pull on that speedy trial situation where Fonnie Willis is saying, I'm ready to go now, but uh, I would like to do everybody at the same time. She'd like to have all the defendants, all 19 of them. Is it 19 total with Trump? I think so. Yeah, she'd like to have all 19 of them. Uh, go down the same path at the same time. So there were cases that revealed to the first time in others. We'll talk about it in a minute. Before we do too much of that, let's have just a moment of meditation. So uh, let's go with Arizona. So Arizona, which you wouldn't think that they'd be involved in this because it's such a Republican state and it looked like uh, they had it uh, kind of sewed up, but there was a, uh, not so much resistance there, but nothing was found when the Republicans put their uh, ninja SWAT team in there to try to count the votes. It took forever and they found nothing. As a matter of fact, it ended up a bit more in Biden's favor after the Republicans put their uh, ninja SWAT team in there. So, um, but uh, will that uh, Secretary of State uh, under uh, Katie Hobbs, and I forget the name of who it is, you'll have to look it up, but will that Secretary of State uh, decide, let's not put Trump on the ballot, first thing. One, two, three. Will that Secretary of State say, no, let's don't put him on the ballot. First card up. Ah, if we've done enough pentacles, value, as a matter of fact, could be money, but I think in this case we're talking value. And the seven of pentacles is always wondering if I've done enough, should I do more? So this is um, those who wouldn't have Trump on the ballot in Arizona saying, have we done enough to, make, to, to separate this out? The next thing up here is the queen of compassion. So uh, this has got to be Katie Hobbs in her uh, position as governor because she has to look out after the feelings of both Democrats and Republicans, but follow the constitution. And then the final is the high priestess, which is uh, knowledge and uh, gives you, the high priestess card uh, gives you the authority to sort of read into the read what you will as, as the, as the, uh, diviner of the, of the cards, the reader. So yeah, have we done enough? Katie Hobbs is going to try to make this uh, level out, but uh, yeah, they will. <clears throat> I think Arizona will keep Trump off the ballot. 
So now I want to know if Arizona keeps Trump off the ballot, are Republicans going to win a fight to keep him uh, going? And um, so let's ask about that, because the next thing is that would that fight having to go all the way up to the Supreme Court happen in, you know, conclude in time for a meaningful um, voting season with him either on or off the ballot? So let's see. So will the Republicans fight it? One, in Arizona. Two, and three. Will the Republicans fight it in Arizona? And Okay, let's just see that first. First card up. Okay, wands are uh, actions, plans, forward movement. The nine of wands is a battle. It's a lot of issues, and they're out in front here, willing to take it one more step. These are the Republicans who would oppose Trump being left off the ballot. They're willing to fight it. Judgment rules the day, and it kills uh, their uh, their effort to uh, put Trump on the ballot. So judgment is the key here. And um, that's all I've got for Arizona, honestly. So now we've got to go to um, Georgia Governor Kemp. Um, so he's saying that no, he's not removing Fannie Willis. Uh, he's not initiating any of that, that he wants to abide by um, the Georgia Constitution and the Constitution of the United States. And he sees it as a clear, a clear, uh, easy uh, decision as far as what he does with Fonnie Willis. And so now I want to know, will Georgia, uh, let's see, so Georgia under Kemp, so he's Republican. So will Georgia, because their Secretary of, State, Secretary of State is Republican, will Georgia put Trump um, on the ballot? First time around. One, two, three. Well, Georgia put Trump on the ballot. I keep wanting to turn those over. First card up is King of Wands. Okay, Georgia is in charge of their actions. This is Georgia. They're gonna decide what happens in Georgia. Ah, illusion and delusion. So the thing about this, uh, so it's cups, so it's emotional. It's a seven uh, uh, of cups. And so it's of the ma minor arcana, but it is a, uh, an influential card. And things can come out good or bad here, but this is the smoke screen that gets sent up over this issue. George is going to be in charge. There's a lot uh, to sort through. And then the final card is the star card. You know, the star card for me feels like uh, Trump. I think he's going to be on the ballot in Georgia. That's what I think. Now, the next thing to ask is will the Democrats win a fight in Georgia to keep Trump off that ballot? Will the Democrats win an opposition to keep Trump off that ballot in Georgia? One, because you know they'll contest it too. Three, will the Democrats win a contest to keep off the ballot in Georgia? First card up is Queen of Cups. Again, that compassionate uh, figure in this decision because it has to get balanced out. This again is Georgia and this is the governor even though it's a female uh, figure here it's talking about compassion and that governor has to balance out his acts between the Democrats and the Republican the constituents that he represents. The uh, Nine of Cups, again, cups are emotion, more compassion. The Nine is a greedy merchant. This is someone who's willing to show their trophies, trophies of compassion. This is still Georgia uh, in this decision. Trying to be compassionate with Democrats who want him off, but I think he's going to start on. So will the Democrats win as far as keeping him off the ballot in Georgia? And the final is a lot of issues. Let's do one more card. They'll kill it. Democrats will kill it in Georgia. Okay, interesting. The last one I want to talk about now is this speedy trial issue because Kenneth Chesbro and Sidney Powell have now both said, yeah, we want a speedy trial. Let's get us over with, which means it's going to be before the end of October, I think they said, um, uh, when, it's, when that trial would have to start. And the issue here is that Trump does not want a speedy trial. Um, or the issues, I should say. Trump does not want a speedy trial. Um, and Fonnie Willis wants to try everyone together. So let's see um, if Trump will get his slower trial. Three cards. 
one, because I think there's no doubt now that at least two of them are gonna get that speedy trial. I haven't drawn the cards on that, that's just my opinion. But uh, will Trump get his longer trial? The Emperor, this is Trump. Long-term plans, yes, looking into the future. And King of Pentacles, the money to try to make it happen. Yeah, I think this is Trump. This is Trump saying, I've got long-term plans for this. And this King of Pentacles is telling us that he's got what it takes to keep pushing either the value of his convictions to make uh, this argument, or the I don't think money's gonna come into it except for paying the attorneys. So yes, he will get his slower trial. Trump will get his slower trial, but um, will Fonnie Willis uh, get to try all of those people, all 19, at the same time, which is her preference. Um, if we already said that the two are going to get their quicker trial, so this may just be talking about really the um, 17 that are left. One, two, and three. Will Fonnie Willis get the majority of those people lumped into one trial? Partnerships, great big offer of compassion, and the Knight of Swords. This is Fonnie Willis fighting for her, for her, um, her remit. So yeah, there's going to be an agreement. Okay, you know. So the agreement is the two get separated at least, but the majority are going to stay together in one trial. Um, I'm, this is a great big offer of compassion. I think this is what's given to Fonnie Willis from the universe, not from necessarily from uh, official authorities. And uh, this is Fonnie fighting against. You see, she's important in that direction against. Uh, the, uh, the delays. So she's going to get her majority of defendants in a slower and all at once trial. That's what I see. Okay, so this is the newest deck I've got. This is the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. Um, it's just another take on uh, from Los Scarbio on um, the um, the classic uh, Rider Waite Tarot. But uh, apparently this person wise has had their input into it. And uh, th what I love about it, first of all, it's got a great container. I always feel like what I think of when I open these containers is if I got this as a gift, what would I think about it? And I think, well, this is very nice. When you get into the box, I mean, it gives you a hint right from the beginning what you're gonna see. It's a close up of the cards in kind of rich color with kind of a, a tinged uh, overtone to kind of give it an antique look in my opinion. Anyway, the cards themselves, I'll go over, but I want to tell you first about the instruction booklet. And you know, it's a typical instruction booklet that you get with any of these decks it's in a few different languages, and it just gives you some basic uh, uh, meanings of how to divide the cards. But what's good about it and is that it gives you a really terrific uh, synopsis of uh, how uh, this uh, uh, Rider weight uh, system was developed and when and by who. It talks a, a little enough about uh, author weight and Pamela Coleman Smith, who were the creators of this and the Kabbalistic uh, theory and history of all of that. Um, it, is, uh, it gives you a real quick mention about the Golden Dawn, which is very significant to the development of these cards. And then it gives you a really great little section about, about how to read the tarot and storytelling through the cards. So, I like the little book. I mean, it's nothing earth shattering. It's not information that most people don't know, but it is uh, interesting. Now the cards themselves, they got a cool back. They're kind of shiny. And um, you're going to see that kind of what they are is like they've kind of made a close up of the typical tarot uh, images and then colored them in very vibrantly and then oversprayed the whole thing with sort of an antique kind of a, a feel. So they're great for me. I've got a few uh, vision problems. And so in that they're close up, but they're still vibrant with color. And I think these are going to look great on the camera. Uh, I like to uh, spread the cards out like this for a couple of reasons. One is it's a good way to show you uh, more than a couple of cards that you get to see in the typical tarot drawing. And that's something that I always wanted to see. I wanted to know more about what the cards I was looking at before I was making the videos. And number two, it's a good way to um, shuffle the cards up without damaging them too much. And if you're reading for someone else, then there's a third uh, benefit, is that you can let someone else do this kind of spread around if they're not comfortable with making a shuffle. or, or And then you kind of get their energy into the cards. So this is the uh, Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. And I just like them a lot. So this will be my newest deck. Coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again. So ciao for now.